Hey guys, welcome to our, we're going to call it a mini paint palooza Mini. Because yeah. we're not going to be gone on for hours and hours like we usually are because we've got things to do and today got away from us, but we got thrift hall to paint. So we were like, we got to go live, paint the thrift hall with our friends. We also said that we might start using some cake batter on these thrift halls. Well, we didn't. We thought we had a quart here and we only have queen B, which is a little more yellow. We had to pump the brakes on that much yellow. So, you know, we're, I'm doing an old world finish on this anyway. So we're going to get going. I think I might just cut the paint to it because we like the center of this. Jamie's already been painting this chair. This has been hiding. This little wicker chair has been hiding in the garage since what, like January? It's been Maybe a minute, longer. We need, we need a bunch of fun color on the front porch of the shop because it's still everything's all brown and dead, even though it's spring. And I'm like, mint is the spring color. Plus, I have... I got two pints of paint for the video that we just put up yesterday. If you hadn't seen it, we painted an antique dresser. And we only wound up using just under one pint for that entire dresser. So I have too. more mint than I anticipated. And so I'm just going to use it on thrift flips. Okay, so this is not actually old, but this center paint job, we like the brassy goldish color. It's good. So I'm going to cover up the fruit on the sides and see if we can make this look like maybe old plaster or something like that. I'm going to start out with Sandy Blonde from DIY. It's an amazing neutral base, kind of on the yellowish of a tannish cream, but not, not quite. It's good. And I'm going to try to not get it on our gold that we want to keep. So I'm going to cut up to it. And I am going to drop some links here. So Caitlin is not on here today because it's not a regularly scheduled live. I'm going to drop this in here. Um, I dropped the cottage color link. Here's the DIY paint link. And then I will drop the link for the thrift haul itself in case you want to buy anything that we've painted. So yeah, I'm excited to get this stuff done. It's always fun every week and very satisfying to get the thrift haul stuff painted because I love just like drop it off at the shop and check it off my list. Also, it's fun to see what it looks like. Like we buy these things, a lot of them, we're like, all right, we kind of know what we want to do with them. We have a vision, but that's like saying, I want my garden to look exactly like this. And then a year later, you're like, it looks nothing like what I envisioned. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen. All right, let me make sure my sound's off and I'm going to share this out to the Jamie Ray Vintage group. If you guys don't mind hitting that share button, it helps us out a ton. And if you guys are on Facebook and you're ever interested, we do have a Jamie Ray Vintage group. There's about 20,000 members. You can share your projects in there. And I try to drop links in there when I can remember when we're live. Sometimes we send a text, but this isn't the, this isn't the regular live that we send text for, so... Alley Cat says it matches the Jamie Ray Vintage logo perfectly that's in the corner. <laughs> it, mint, it's bright. Mint has been a very We used big to paint part. pianos pretty close to this color. Yeah, big part Quite of often. our style for a while. Like people, if we had a bill coming up and we needed to pay something, we go hunt down a piano because a lot of people just give them away because they're like, we, we can't move it and no one will come move it. Uh, so if you'll come pick it up, you can have it for free. So we used to just go get pianos and paint them and that was like oh made the car payment i was younger then <laughs> i ain't moving pianos no more so if you're ever in utah county and you see a bright mint piano chances are i painted it <laughs> i did quite a few there was one remember that one we painted and it was like had a face on it oh and then we yeah it. someone had gotten wild with their uh, creative they really their, their artistic license was strong like the whole thing was a face. And when you opened it up, because it was like a mini grand with the, like the, the upright grand ones, I don't know what those are called. Um, and so like the whole back was a face. And when you opened it up, the keys were the teeth. It was very creative. Yeah, it was cute. All right. I think I got most of this. I say brushing wicker, not winning. Spraying this with paint, a spray gun would be a lot better, but it's winter time. So it does have some of the turquoise peeking through still. And I don't care. I'm gonna, once it's all the way dry, which is gonna be a few hours, I'll go outside with the sander, distress it, bring some of that teal back through, 
then it wouldn't look so weird in the few spots it's like poking through at. I feel like this fruit could have been okay on this, but some of it's just like pumpkins and gourds and grapes. Like it's stuff that doesn't really go together. I mean, is there fruit that you can't eat together? I don't know. Sure. No, I don't know. It just it's like spring and fall veggies and very... midsummer veggies. It's like they mixed all the vegetables weird. <laughs> It's very 1995, early 2000s. Can be doing it. All right, when you're done with that base coat, would you mind carrying this outside? You're a lot neater than I am at that. Yes. So we're going to put it outside to dry, and then I'll have room to paint a bunch of other stuff. I can show you what I already painted because we went live. If you guys are a channel member on YouTube or a Facebook paid subscriber, we had an extra live this morning, and we dropped that link. We shared some tea. We painted some stuff. It was good live. It's always fun. Channel member lives are like small, so we see more comments and stuff. Welcome, welcome. Um, let's see. Helen says, I found your channel a few weeks ago. You encouraged me to paint stuff that I've been hoarding. I'm in the UK. Love watching your videos. Awesome. Welcome, Helen. We love the UK. We, we go to the UK a couple times a year. We haven't been yet this year. Yeah. We're talking to, we keep talking about going in the fall. So cross your fingers, we can make that happen. If you're new here, we have five children, four that live at home. My mom lives with us, two dogs two sheep, 20 plus chickens, a milking cow, and a business, like a retail store. And so leaving all of those things is You wanted me to haul this out. While I'm hauling yeah. that out, do you want to tell them what we're doing with these and why we decided to do mm -hmm. that? Yeah, we can do that. So the next thing I'm going to be working on um, is uh, these corporal shelf. Although, you know what, Deb? We have to paint the whole thing because I was going to paint the backs because I don't know if they're going to use them as shelves or corbels. Honestly, paint it with that, that, uh, sandy blonde and dark wax it and it'll match the front really well. You think, well, what if I paint it with the little black dress? Because that, dry. Show them that frame that I did. It looks almost no, like the I'm front. I'm going to do a little black dress first. Do you have that? No, I don't have that. All right. So, so you I'm going to have to match this paint finish and then do a white dry brush. Because I told them, the people that bought these, I don't know if anybody's even bought them yet, but I told everybody <clears> that I was going to paint the backs to match so people could use them like corbels like this. Like, or you can paint them with or whatever. Or you can use them as a shelf. I was just going to dry brush the fronts, but you can do whatever. Can you like, grab me a little paint, black dress? Paint the whole I thing. think little black dress and sandy blonde will mimic the look. Can't go saying what you're going to do with stuff. We'd be getting in trouble for that. I know. Um, Patience says, I used your stencils on my DIY live today. Sweet, Patience. All right. Uh, Michelle says, I, hi from Canada. I was in Salt Lake last week and was hoping to get to your shop, but you ran out of time. Oh, you were close. It's only about half hour from Salt Lake. And we are right off the freeway. So sometimes it could be half hour if it's in Lehigh, or sometimes it could be 45 minutes, depending on where it's at. Yeah. But our shop is right off of State Street, mm -hmm. right off of the exit 282 on I-15. So if you're ever with anybody, they're like, oh, we don't have the time. We're right off the freeway. So it's not too hard. And we're usually not super busy. You can park right out front so you can pop in and pop out. All right. This is the, you know, heat gunning, heat gunning story. Because we're going to get this done on the live stream. We don't have a ton of time this afternoon because Jamie mentioned earlier we got to run kids around and Buttercup. Must be milk. I mean, I can go an hour either way, but she's very scheduled. She doesn't like to break her schedule. And so sometimes when I milk her a little late or a little early, she doesn't let the milk down. It's a thing. And it takes a long time because I got to go back there and hand milk her. We could probably go till 4.30. I can see if Odelia can drop off Redrick at football. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she could. Redrick doesn't normally have football on Tuesdays, but yesterday was raining like crazy, so they rescheduled. And it's not regular football. I know it's not the fall. It's seven on seven. In my mind, I'm like, can be canceling football for rain. <laughs> it's cold rain. But it's football. Uh, Hasifa here. She just went live on YouTube for the first time. Woo -woo! She's That's in business awesome. coaching with us. And Odelia's on here. Oh, hey, Odelia. When Redrick gets home, would you let him know he has football at 430? And, and then we'll... can you take him? Yeah, and then just where you normally take him. Please and thank you. All right, so right now I have a pretty sharp contrasty line right up through there, but we're going to add more layers. We're going to do a little more paint. How is that again? Right here. Like a horse? It's very, it's very stark.
Did we use all the little black dress? Um, I just bought you a whole thing right here. Oh, you already brought it? You're so good to me. Just so you know, I have a sandy blonde. Oh, I saved our sandy blonde brush. Oh, well, I used the new one. Okay. It's fine. We're out of sync. <laughs> it's been a long day. Usually it's like a ballet dance over here. Like I pass her stuff. She passes me stuff. We heat gun off camera. We really knock some projects out. We'll just call it. This is like um, an interpretive dance for yes. modern. Oh, look, there's the Amazon man. <clears throat> it's his second looking. time by. Yep. Zeb and I got the new iPhone uh, 14s finally. It's been a, so a now long we can time get better coming. video to you guys. And they delivered our cases this morning. We've been trying to get them since October. Yeah, we film with it. So whenever I edit a video with like our thrifting videos or I edited the video from yesterday, our videos are completely filmed and edited on our iPhones. So our phones are of huge importance to us. All right, I don't think, like, I feel like I don't need to do, I'm just going to do Sandy Blonde all over and all over this. I'm contemplating, should I just throw on some dark wax right over the top of this. I did it to this frame earlier. Let me show you the frame. I mean, and then this is gold. I feel like you need texture. Like you need some saw wash or something. Yes, I feel or like Or you could right. stipple. So we did this frame earlier. These are these are some uh printables that you get from being a channel member, but I wanted to show you the frame. This is sandy blonde and then I went right on top of it with dark wax. Didn't clear wax it at all. Um, put some clear wax over the top of the dark wax and wiped some back. And then we just kind of lightly brushed it with the golden rule um, gilding wax, the, the gold gilding wax that DIY has. Um, and this is two separate printables. This is, I cut the frame part of this one out and put the music notes back behind. So if you're a channel member, the link is up, go find these printables. It'll be up there for about another 30 days. And then you can uh, you can have these prints too. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I feel you on the texture. I'm going to do some. Feel me on the texture. All right. While those are drying, I'm going to show you guys some of the things I already we already did. Did you show you show them the milk, the music nodes? I'll show you the elephant. Do you guys remember this from the thrift hall? We did this on the channel member live. It is uh, sandy blonde and white wax. Zeb fixed it had a big old piece of damage and then he also filled the test holes super cute so instead of doing do you want the, to show uh, that clock while you're up too yeah i'll show him the clock okay what was it that we were going to do can you grab me some queen bee not sandy blonde what's the other yellow we were going to do cake batter cake batter but would you instead grab of doing cake batter we're running through our sandy blonde All right, well i'm going to do queen bee on this cake. on that but, one yeah since it's a solo. Since it's a solo, I don't have to make a magic pick. Do what I want. Oh, also, here's the clock. Remember that ugly green clock? Oh, I Saturday? forgot to show them. Ta-da! It's got some gold. I don't know if you can see the gold shimmer. It's skeleton key, cottage color, white linen, and then the base color behind it is sandy blonde. And clear wax, dark wax, and gold wax. Turned out cute. I mean, it might not be your jam, but I think it turned out cute. Right, I'm going to do salt wash. In my queen bee, I think. Okay. All right. So this is skeleton key. You see a theme here. We got all the paints out. We're going to use the ones we got out. I am not going to go one to one. I want this to be really thick, almost like a plaster. But I want the. We're going to tint it with the skeleton key. But I want to almost mush it on here. We have had this queen bee forever. It's getting thick and chunky. All right, so I'm just using Queen Bee, which is DIY paint, and then I'm using mostly white linen, which has a built-in sealer, which is the DIY cottage color line, curated by Jamie Ray Vintage, available at jamierayvintage.com. Um, and I'm gonna mix that up with some salt wash. New colors coming soon. <laughs> we, oh, you know what's coming soon? Friday, we have our release of decoupage paper. Yep, it's a good one. Um, many of the retailers have already ordered, some are not, so make sure you're contacting your local JRV retailer to see if they've got the papers. 
Um, the release is Friday. We, and everybody that is a retailer that has ordered um, up until one o'clock today, I guess, if they order after that, all the then orders are ship out. out till this weekend. But all the wholesale orders from this last weekend are all out. Yeah, so. Mariah normally doesn't ship, but she said, hey, if you want to do this release, I can do it. I can get them shipped out. So she usually only ships on Friday and Saturday for wholesale because of her work schedule. But she came in extra and stayed late after her kids That's had gone pretty. to bed and shipped them out. It's like a buttery yellow. I feel like I need a little bit more Queen Bee. Don't be afraid to mix colors. And as long as it's water-based, you can mix it. So the DIY paint and the cottage color is different formulas, but you can totally mix them. All right. So let me show you. I'm I'm pretty thick on this. I don't know that it's going to adhere like I want it to. It's kind of usually it's like I was going for like a thick plaster. I might just need to add like a hint of water or something to it. I got the color I want with the skeleton key. I just need to add some water, I think. Can you guys see that color? It's a bright springy color. Bring on spring. So Queen Bee with like five parts white linen to one part Queen Bee-ish. We'll get you this really sunshiny yellow with brown undertones, which I like. It's not like a juvenile yellow because it has brown undertones. And I added salt wash, so it has some texture. I want everything bright and light in the shop. Everything I'm painting, I want it to be fun. When fall comes around, I like to have a little bit of the fall dark colors, but. All right, so this is the Iron Orchid silicone blade. I said the, the mirror is a ton better. Yeah, already, right? Do you want some of this color on there? I mean, if you want to put some on there. Because I could share. But, but I've got a master plan. Oh, well, if you don't need it, it's fine. Okay, so the blade, super, super thick mixture on the salt wash. I'm just going to dab a couple spots randomly. And then I'm smearing it. Oh, no. Smear. Just know that when you add salt wash, if you put the paint on thick, it does take longer to dry, so keep that in mind. I like to, I like to make texture, but then I'll like pull the paint from where I've gone on the bottom to try to thin it out, so there's still texture, but the paint's not super thick, and that will help it dry faster. Because if you just leave the paint super thick on there, it takes so long. All right, to dry. this is really good, but I'm gonna need to mix up more of this. I'm just pulling the paint up from the bottom and spreading it to the top making sure it's like not piled up or pulled up in the cracks. Amy says that yellow is stunning. It would be beautiful in a kitchen. I Very agree. bright, fun, springy, pastel almost. It's actually brighter than um, cake batter a little bit because the queen bee is such a vibrant color. Jude said, is that like a swipe? Did you make it, what did you just say? Uh, so this is a blade, but yes, I'm swiping and schmearing. It's an IOD blade, available at jamierayvintage.com. <laughs> I made up so much of this color, so I'm glad you guys like it because it's gonna be the color du jour. And if you were... don't speak French, that means color of the day. Okay, all Although right. Although I don't speak French either, so plus that well. So you kind of see where I'm going with this. I'm adding texture. I want it to look almost like maybe the plaster is a little broken. Um, and it's a very thick mixture. Usually you go one-to-one -one on the salt wash to get the mixture you want. Maybe a little less even because DIY paint is so thick. Yeah. You don't have to add as much to it typically. If you use a different paint that's thinner, then you have to add more salt wash. At this point, we're just pouring because I needed a bunch of it. But I might have I might have pulled a Jamie and mixed up way more than I need. Are we calling that pulling a Jamie now? Yeah. Well, right. just today, because you really got all that. I mean, you have like... I don't know what you want me to do with oh, these I'm candlesticks. Oh, I'm making a mess. I base coated a bunch of candlesticks in vintage mint, but now <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> all right. I'll wipe that off later. Should I vent? <laughs> I spilled. You can, So you can paint over the top of it. Don't wipe it off. Just yeah, I, I'm going to. I'm going to. I've seen people do that. Sprinkle it, then paint over it. Should I do... The yellow color over the top of that? Would that be weird? Over the top of the mint? And then white wax it? And they're very Easter eggy together, but I don't know. What if I white wax it? Okay. All right. Just go for it and see what happens. This is 
This is your channel. You do what you want. It is our channel. It is a little Easter eggy, but I think if I white wax it, it'll bring it together. We'll see. If I don't like it, it's only paint. You're going to bring that all together with white wax or dark wax? White wax. Have those sold already? No. Diana said to go for it. So if Diana says to go for it, then. All right. Sometimes you just got to send it. Start some new stuff. Do well, something you've not done before. A color combo or a project. Like Bob Ross. No mistakes. Only happy little accidents. Although I made some mistakes before. When you make a mistake, you just take it right back to the thrift store that you bought it from and pretend like it never happened. That's the nice thing about buying your, your craft projects at the thrift store. You don't have a huge amount invested into them, so if you don't like it, you're not committed to live with it for the rest of your life. And paint, for all intents and purposes, is fairly cheap compared to new, having to buy everything new. I'm always surprised when I buy new things, how Hold expensive. On. You still got your mic on? Hey, we're live, guys. Go get a snack out of Grandma's room. Because we're live, but don't make a mess. And, Redrick, you have football at 430. They moved it to today. And Odilia is going to take you. So make sure you hurry and get a snack. Sorry, my kids just got home from school. We usually try to be done filming by this time in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Today didn't happen. Life happened today. That's what happened. The nice thing about this silicone blade is it flexes pretty good. It's not like as rigid as like a metal or plastic spatula. So I'm getting a lot of like really good highs and lows. Kathleen says she painted her master bedroom uh, in Alaska with a blue ceiling with white crown molding. You know what? This reminds me. My bedroom was blue and white. You know, I bet in Alaska that's like really beneficial when it starts getting uh, dark in the wintertime. You just go in there, blast the lighting, and be like, ah, it's summertime. Get a little light box. I get seasonal depression a little bit, so I, I don't get it in the same way that people in Alaska don't get sunshine, but it is like when spring starts coming and the days are longer, it's like magical. And I work more. I work way less in the winter. Um, okay, no questions. We're good. Caitlin's not on here. So if I miss a question, you can email info at jamierayvintage.com and Caitlin will get back to you. So is, there is something about these thrift hauls that we've been running into a little bit. A lot of times people will pre-buy them and then hope that we see their comment when a thousand mm -hmm. people are watching on the live stream because Saturday nights are our big nights. We can have anywhere from like 800 to 1300 people watching. Um, and we don't catch all the comments. And if you say, hey, don't paint that. I bought it already. Or, hey, I want it to be this color. There's a high chance we didn't see that. And we don't do custom painting anyway. So you're just pre-buying it because you want that piece before someone else snags it up. So it happens <laughs> like if you email Caitlin and she sees it before we paint it and gives us the message, then yeah, we won't. We're not trying it, to be we... mean. We just don't have time to take custom orders. Yeah. So I don't mind not painting stuff, but it doesn't mean I always see the message, but custom colors. I, it's part of what I like, what I do. It's like the creative process. We have lots of new people here, so it's a good time to reiterate that. Like this mirror. I don't know if it's sold or not yet. It is yet. sold. They have no idea how I was going to paint it. They're just trusting that we're going to do cool work. You usually do. All right, let me, let me come show you guys the texture on here. This is, honestly, I'm liking it. Barbara's out doing her chores. What kind of chores are you out doing? You doing farm chores? All right, let me see if we can get this to focus up. All right, so you see where I splattered it, but we've got all this good texture and it'll really show up when I wax it. Oh. I was going to do it on, I guess I'm doing it on this candlestick too. I'm just going for it. Now you got to do it on this one because this is its friend. Is that one dry yet? It's dry enough. I got to get the other big one. Okay, I'm going to heat gun again real quick. The salt wash with the DIY paint is spread on here um, thin enough with the blade that it should dry pretty quick. It can take longer when you add the salt wash because, you know, thickness. 
I know a lot of you guys like our live thrift hauls, so make sure that you set your alarm because this Saturday will be live, but the next Saturday will be pre-recorded. So we'll still have the thrift we hall. we got a wedding to go to. We're going to be at my niece's wedding on April 1st. So this Saturday, you don't want to miss a live. What we really need hall. to do, I have an ulterior motive to going to this wedding. We just need to convince Gentry that she wants to nanny for us up here and move up here and establish roots with her new husband. That way, when we go out of town, we can just be like, hey, Gentry, just come stay at the house. Hey. I think her mom would not like that. Jamie's sister, Karen. My sister's always trying like, to... what are you doing? My, my kids are already all over the place. My sister's always trying to tell me, she's like, stop trying to pilfer my kids. I'm like, but I love your kids and I want them. <laughs> I want them here. All right. I think you see, you guys have met, if you've seen some of our reels, Jamie's, uh, Karen, Denise? you've met Karen. Um, I, Gentry might have been in a reel or two. Um, but Willow is in a reel with me that has like a million something views. Uh, and that is also, that's Gentry's little sister. She lives up in Idaho right now. Do we dilute our paints? No, we don't dilute them. Not usually. I mean, if I do a wash, I do. I'll, I'll, I'll dilute them way down. But normally we just put them on. We like the texture. I don't have any problems. Some people dilute it because they say it helps glide across the stuff. I don't dilute it. And cottage color, you definitely don't dilute because that's thin and self-leveling, so not necessary. Now, if your paint dries up, the DIY paint, you need to add water to it, let it sit overnight, and then stir it up the next morning. It's not going to be perfect, but most of the time you can reconstitute it because it's clay based. You guys, this is thick enough and I'm getting it quick enough that I got some crackle in mm. my in my uh, salt wash you DIY sure you paint mix. No, actually yellow. No, I don't, don't do my yellow. yellow. It's too bright for my center here. As it is, I'm going to have to come clean some of this up. All I got right. some salt wash on I it. I just want to share some of my sunshine with you. <laughs> you share you share your sunshine with me every day. That is It's oh. hard to say. Share oh, no. your sunshine. Sunshine. There's a lot of shh. shh. <laughs> Guys, it's Odelia's boyfriend Cooper's birthday today. Yeah, Cooper, he's he's an adult now, as he's of today. 18. Tomorrow we're going to take him out to dinner. Tonight he's going out with his so family. So he's pretty funny. He went and got his uh, ministry it, license. Ministry license so that he can marry people. That's what he. Because he turned 18. He's like, what am I going to do? And some people turn 18 and they gamble or they go to a show in Vegas or whatever, but he's a really straight-laced good kid. So he got his ministry license. That's what he did. <laughs> he sent me a picture this morning. I was like, great. I was like, hey, you want to redo our vows? He's like, I can. I'm like, no, we're good. We got married in the temple anyway, so not quite yeah, the same different. vows. But yeah, he's a good kid. So he turned 18 today, so that's fun. Zeb, to Odelia sent Zeb the request, and Zeb turned him a Harry Potter wand last night, a custom wand. <laughs> they, Odelia said as soon as she gave it to him, they were like driving down the street, and he was like putting spells on everybody out the window. <laughs> you have to realize, like that. these kids, <laughs> we live in like we live in a big town. There's like seventy-five thousand people, but we live in the Are old we have to part 75 of town now. Yeah, it's the old part of town. So like where he's doing this is like old Lehigh. <laughs> So like a small town in a big town. So that people probably thought it was hilarious. All right, I'm almost done. I'm going to heat gun this. And then I think I'm going to do like some sort of wash at this point. This is where the thinning of the paint comes in. We're going to wash this. I might even just do a white and mute it down. And then I'm going to dark wax over that. Oh, Corey's going to come to the shop tomorrow. Hopefully by the time you come, Corey, we'll have our dresser moved over Our there it's gonna dresser. do it today but we just time got away from us no she's going to get top coat i gotta go do a uh activity with the youth tonight we're cooking at the bishop's bonfire pit gonna i don't know what i, I think we're learning how to cook in um oh redrick's supposed to bring hamburger buns in, maybe odelia uh, can grab i can't some. even remember the word i know the word i've used them a bunch Dutch ovens. Dutch oven, thank you. Dutch oven, you could. You're, I was stuck I'm on wearing oven. off on you. I just, I haven't slept a lot. I can this never last remember. Week since daylight savings, I'm all out of whack. I'm not sleeping good. 
you know what? I slept really good last night. I think it's because mentally I knew that my phone was not by the bed. So I, I couldn't like pick it up in yeah. the middle of the night. So you're going to have, I'm like a teenager. You're going to have to take my phone from me. I might, if that's the key. Well, and it vibrates and it goes off and it shows you the light when it's on the charger next to the bed. Yeah. They say you're actually supposed to leave it like in the other room when you go to bed. Yeah. Well, I just worry about emergency. If you're not a heavy sleeper like me, like I don't go to sleep until I'm real, real tired. Oh, but is that once, can you fix the camera? Oh, but once I'm asleep, like I'm out. So if you're just tuning in, we're painting the thrift hall. I will drop the link again. This link will get you to our website. So you can also take this link and go back to the main menu and go to our paint and products to buy right. these paint products. Now that we've heat gunned this a little, you can really, oh, come on camera. We blocked Jamie's face out of there. There we go. Now you can really kind of see that texture coming in. I'm offended that you're blocking my face. Just kidding. This camera, we use a DSLR, a big fancy camera to stream when we do both Facebook and YouTube. It's the longest I've had one. We've had it three years now. You just keep reminding me like you want a new one. But anyways. I'm just it, saying it's tired. It zooms in on faces. It's really aggressive about finding your face. True that. All right. Next color, this is the trick. Do we wash it with some white and then go dark wax over the top? Oh man, it's got some really, uh, really great texture. It's almost a little sharp. I'm gonna have to knock that down when we start waxing. All right, well, something else okay. gonna have to go this color. What else, what else do I got? I don't know. You got, so... I've painted all the candlesticks. There, is there some stuff on the side over there? If not, there's more things in the garage. Wow, those are bright. What? I feel like we've got like an Easter venue coming on. Bring on spring. Do we, I don't think take, I want to go bright with those cobbles. Did you pull all the cups out of here? I thought we had more cups. Yes. I, I wanted to pay, play uh, beer pong, and so I used all the cups. Root beer pong. It's just, no, I didn't. you can just call it cup. Pong. Cup pong. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, I don't know where they're at. That's what they call it on the uh, the little iPhone game situation. All right, I'm just gonna do a wash on a plate then. Ooh, we're gonna mix it with the sandy blonde, or not the yeah sandy blonde and the white. Okay, here we go. If you need stuff to dry for a little bit. You could also show them how you zip off the top of candlesticks. Oh, I do need to show them that. I think it was, who was it that asked on the video? I don't know. Was it Amber? Amber, Amber Moy asked on the video, and we didn't get around to doing it on the video. Okay, so I have some water on this plate. I've dipped my brush. This is my sandy blonde brush, so we're going to get like a sandy blonde, and uh, this is the white linen. Make sure I didn't dip that in the mint. I need more white. I'm not going to paint the inside of this yellow. Whatever I paint over the top. So I'll to whoever off. asked if we dilute the paints, this is really watered down. Oops, it's falling in. I forgot to take off the price tag. Can you hold that like that for just a second? Sorry. What product do you recommend for ceiling and I'm that will be outdoors in summer, Iowa, hot and humid? I would say you probably can't go with anything all natural. So I would just go to your local hardware store and ask for their best advice because hot and humid in Iowa sounds pretty serious. I have used Kills Clear, but I don't live anywhere where it's super humid. We've so. been testing the, um, the cottage colors and they've been getting snowed on all winter. On yeah. some, depending on your prep, they've held up really well. Like our sign that we sanded all the way down and then painted is in cottage color and it's doing really well. Um, but we haven't had hot yet. We've, we've had winter. We live in the second driest state in the nation. So when it comes to humidity, we are not your experts by any means. I like to try stuff out so I can tell people with a shirty. I mean, sometimes I get advice from other people, but... I'm always apprehensive to share advice that I don't know firsthand. All right, so this is just a lighter shade. It looks like I'm covering hey, Jackie, up all the Hey, Jackie, we're live. You need to be quiet. You don't want to cover up all the skeleton key, so it will it will come back. Don't you fret. Let me 
I get yellow in the back of that? Oh. All right. These are the last two things I'm painting with this color. And I'm moving on. Because the entire my entire light's going to be yellow after this. You splattered on my corpals. <gasps> no. All right. Um, thank you, essentially, Kimberly. She's given the breakdown of what I painted. So DIY goes on first, then salt wash, then wax. Sorry, just trying to process. So Zeb used salt wash and DIY first. So I, I did just regular. Um, oh. You don't have to. You can just go straight salt wash right on the first. So but... he did a base coat of DIY paint. Yep. Then a layer of splotchy paint and salt wash. And now he's doing a water mixed with DIY paint over the top of that whole thing. That's That brings you to the current situation I keep that getting is thinner and thinner here i might even making come a gustavian finish. i might even yes that's essentially what it is i might even come do some blotting in a second and i'm just blotting yellow paint on stuff so see where this goes i'm pretty good at pulling off stuff though oh if you need something to paint i have this mirror over here too i'm good i don't i don't want to do this finish on that mirror it doesn't need texture it's already got texture Yeah, Jackie, if you buy stuff from us and you want to tell people that they can get it from our website, that's all advertising, baby. Actually, we love that. Yes, please. As long as you have nice things to say. <laughs> um, and sometimes even if you don't. Hey, Zeb, I seen one day you showing your necklace. Can you tell me info about it? Oh, the um, that sold. That was just the uh, fake turquoise uh, costume jewelry that we picked up at Kobe's. It might be so, real. We don't know. I don't know. It could be real, but I don't think it is. But we are that's sold. That's probably why it's not showing up on the website. Um, it whenever anything sells in the thrift haul collection, it goes to the bottom. So if you switch how it's sorted from featured and you switch it from old to new, then if it's a new item and even if it is sold, then it'll show up on top. Otherwise, right. it goes straight to the bottom. Now you can really start to see what we're going for here. That's the next level, Zip. It's good. Once we add the dark wax, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to dry it off real quickly. Cynthia said hi to Jack. Cute Jack. <sighs> I saw a video of him from when he was a baby the other day. He was like the happiest chubby little baby. He's the happiest not chubby little eight-year-old. Eight <laughs> the world is his oyster. It was so cute. I, was telling, I think I already shared this on Saturday, but he started playing seven on seven. He's typically a lineman. He doesn't usually play skill positions in football. So seven on seven is a new world for him. And he, his coach he's working with has been his coach before for regular season. And so he's really close with him. And so he's sitting on the sidelines and he's negotiating more playing time. It was the funniest thing. He's like, hey, coach, what do I got to do to get in more? <laughs> and no, Ironically, like, the next game he was in a lot. <laughs> it's really hard to tell Jack no because he's so cute. It's pretty good. He has a lot of good reasons on why he should be in, and he he leverages that. <laughs> He's, he ain't dumb, man. Smart. The art of getting what you want is a skill. All right. Oh, this mirror is going to be... I know your mirror is pretty I cool. think I have... Uh, you know how we've been like trying to really master the whole it layered like texture? Concrete um and we just weren't quite getting it i think the smooshing on the dryer salt wash with the blade is going to be the thing those are going over there we still have quite a bit of contrast right here and i'm going to need to clean this up i got some powder and stuff on there but it's all water soluble at this point the products i've been using with the exception of the really really watered down uh white linen but that's should be okay because it's so watered down the sealer's not going to really do what <laughs> sealer's supposed to Can I get the not wet to. sandy blonde brush and the sandy blonde? Yes, you can. Can you comment on becoming a retailer? Which brand? So if you want to retail our products, which is just the stencils, decoupage paper, and stencil brushes, you go to jrvwholesale.com. As far as the other brands I carry, you just have to look up that brand and go to their website. I don't know. I don't like the paint brands and stuff. I don't handle that part so i don't know all right i'm gonna dry brush 
the Sandy Blonde on. Well, a lot of them, we've been retailers for a yeah, long I don't time. And so they, and they, long. they can change, they change things. So a lot of people are like, how much do you have with like, what's your opening order? I'm like, I don't know. Most of the companies I sell for, like all of the pain. Like our opening on. order is 350. It's not that much. Yeah. I've done it for a long time with them. Comparatively. Right, Some I'm brands we carry their opening orders like $1,500, which, yeah. you know, it's an investment. You're going to, you're going to sell it. You're going to be a retailer. They expect you to have product on hand. Well, the product's more expensive too. Our products are relatively inexpensive. So we have a smaller opening order. All right. We're almost dry coming in with the dark wax. Okay, Should I clear wax I this first? Them. What do you think? Clear wax first or just go with the dark wax? Oh, clear wax first for sure. Okay. You're going to be heat gunning for a while though. That's thick. No, I'm almost done. That's thick. All right. So I'm really not changing what this looked like before, but I'm repainting over the top of the front and on the back because the back was not originally finished. Once I heat gun this, then I will paint the underside of this. So that way people can use it upside down like this as a corbel or they can hang it right side up as a shelf. Thank you. All right, I interrupt so, my husband a lot. What, did someone say that? Yeah. <laughs> I interrupt her a lot. It's fine. We've been over this. Yeah, we're not talking about it today. Um, <laughs> all right, clear wax. Um, Linda says, my oldest grandson's name is Jack, age 22, and he also used to negotiate to play more sports it must be something in the name my dad's name my dad my son is named after my dad who passed away last year and um my dad definitely negotiated for things he wanted i thought when i first started darlene that it was my mom so i thought my mom was giving me a hard time for interrupting you your dad didn't even really read until we were married and he had like his home construction business and all these other things like he knew how to get what he wanted yeah he didn't let anything stop him. That's for show. Sure. Hey, Patty. Um, patience, I just think DIY is 1600 It might be. I'm not sure. It was less than that when we signed up. But again, it was like five years ago. So inflation. You have so much mint chip in this brush from... <laughs> <laughs> I keep picking flakes off of everything I'm working piece. on. It's not mint chip. It's vintage. Or the vintage mint. Yes. There is a difference. Uh, Charlie says, my day feels incomplete unless I see you guys live. <laughs> well, lucky for you, we've been going live pretty much every day. That's true. Facebook and um, YouTube are weird about showing our videos. So if we don't go live, like people miss out on stuff. You can hit like on both of them, you can click your like options and go to see all. So that way you can like pick how much you see us or put us in your favorites. Um, next to where you either subscribe or follow, there's like a drop down menu usually, and you can pick it. And if you put us in your favorites or see all on YouTube, they usually will give you more notifications. But it's been a little bit better since we've been going live more often. Yep. And if you guys don't mind once watching us paint stuff, we pretty much always have something to do. <laughs> Well, Harrington is mostly moved out of the cottage. I think everything that's left in there, he's like, yeah, I don't care about. Because I was like, are you, you going to clean that out more? He's like, you're gutting it, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, just throw it all away then. I don't have time to clean out his stuff. He's a grown man. It's stuff like an Instapot he doesn't want anymore. I gave him that for Christmas. I think he took the one that he had too. So I think he took the one you gave him because it was nicer. He got time to throw out his stuff. Because he got one at the thrift store, I think. Oh. Do you offer customized decoupage paper? We do not. Decoupage paper has to be licensed. Most of it, some of it is different. I mean, um, we do make it custom. Yeah, but we don't do but. people's. And then it takes hours. Like every paper that you see, we've done anywhere from two to 15 hours of design per paper. So it's pretty involved. Zeb has almost had a degree in graphic design. So yeah, I didn't he's quite make it. Pretty good at that. All right, clear wax is on here, not dry yet. I'm just going to go on with my dark wax so we can make these all match and play together nice with this original good paint finish that's on here. Patty says, I so odd I know, but I want to get picked with mini weather vane. Do you think you'll be able to do something fun with it? I would drive to Mesa when you're here in Phoenix. 
We are not going to have time to meet up with anybody. Unfortunately, it's going to be just family while we're there. It's going to be crazy busy. So I don't yeah, want to. We're driving down Thursday. We're busy all day Friday prepping for the wedding. The wedding is on Saturday. And then we're driving home all day Sunday. So in true Ray fashion, we are not just attending the wedding. We will be helping do wedding stuff. So yeah. up until the final moment, we will be doing prep. And then they're going to get married. And we're going to leave the next morning. It's insane. All right. Now, I know some of you are like, oh, you whitewashed it. And it got all muddy now with the dark wax. And what are you going? What did you do? Stay with me. So we do print decoupage paper with the big professional printer that we got. The smaller A4 is made um, here in house. So the release that's coming out on Friday is all paper currently printed in USA because it's done in Lehigh in our office, yep. our home office. In the evening, we start a TV show. We look at the uh, wholesale orders that have come in. We get them all printed out. But right now, Zeb's working on getting a bunch of stuff printed. So that way, when we make the paper live on Friday, we have a ton to get started shipping. And then we'll just keep printing. Print, print, print. Liz says, just came on. I see yellow. Hey, I told people there would be yellow. I forgot to pick up cake batter, but that's okay. I mixed up some with queen bee and white linen. All right. So it did get a little darker than I want. And it'll, tone, it'll keep toning back. But let me show you a trick. If you got too much dark. I'm just, this is the clear wax. Just going back here on there. And you're not going to be able to pull it all off, right? But you can really control where you want it. Robin right. says she's looking forward to our prints. We are too. It's fun so to see what the retailers are So we did 16 designs. Um, they are, some of them are our old designs. We just made them smaller and formatted them to fit on the smaller paper. Uh, but we have 10 new designs that are, that are coming out that are pretty fun. And I, hey, how many papers have you do you print for the retails? We've already sold like, oh, like a thousand already a thousand for retailers. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to. And then Mariah was like, hey, I need three more of these. I need six more of these. I'm like, oh, I thought I counted right. <laughs> That's why it's nice to do it in house. We don't have to wait for them to come on a boat. From It'd be China. like a month waiting <laughs> from our, our and normal. And actually, what? It's been, it's a, like, a, it can be up to a month waiting on our normal yeah. uh, manufacturer for so the any, big papers. Sorry. Um, any JRV products uh, are not like our decoupage papers, our stencil brushes, and our stencils are all manufactured in the U.S. The brushes are partially assembled in Thailand, and then they come over here and finish assembly. Because they have but the a company warehouse that there, but they're assembled. In New York owns the factory in, in Thailand, Thailand, so they, they run it real well. We did a lot of research finding the right company to fit with that. It was actually very difficult to find a stencil brush that we could have made here in the U.S. Because there are brushes made in the U.S., but 99.9% .9 of all stencil brushes are not manufactured in the U.S. Your mint is like Every time I talk to a manufacturer, they're like, oh. We could have it made in China. I'm like, oh, that's not what I'm looking for. So the JRV stencil brush. Are you going to sell the prints they used in frames? Some of them, yes. Not all of them made it to the first release. And the summer release, I've already promised the retailers we're going to have a bunch of fun boho style prints. Do you have any more of that salt wash mix up? Yeah. The thick stuff. The thick. And the brush. Holy schmoly. I didn't use a brush. I just spooned it out and smeared it with That's the like... blade. I'm trying to get all these little mint chips that you had. Oh, the extra texture? It's not extra texture. It's mint on my old world finish. <laughs> I need a stiffer brush. This one doesn't have to match another one, so I can just do it however I want, because this is a solo candlestick. stick. 
Tracy says, I'm painting vintage some stuff, vintage pink, as I watch you guys. Vintage pink is fun. I need to, maybe I'll bring, next week will be the pink week. This week was yellow, next week is pink. Is this how you did it? Yeah, pretty much. This is harder because it's a cylindrical surface, but kind of figured out. All right, I've got just got a couple more flecks here and there. They're just really distracting. They're like bright. Sorry. Well, it's not your fault. I mean, it's the you're the one that fault. sanded it, so technically it would be your fault, right? Mm hmm I'll go with that. All right, I think I'm gonna heat gun this. And then I will wash this. I got to still wash the mirror, but check that out, guys. That's good. I like that. And it's actually a little brighter. The camera's kind of dark right now because it's overcast outside. But we'll take a good pic and put it on the socials. Yeah, it... I usually do a little video, so maybe tomorrow I'll do a video of all my painted projects. The only thing you won't get to see is the carousel, because I already took that to the shop. But if you the carousel horse, we actually finished it, except for putting gold on the feet on our Saturday Night Live video. So are you going to bring any of that mint that's under their back? This doesn't have mint. Oh, that one doesn't? Yeah, if this had mint, I don't know that I would have mixed the skeleton key on here. I feel like that might have clashed. This is just the yellow. And um, it's dark underneath. Remember, this is like that creamy one. Oh, yes. This is my single lady. It doesn't have a partner. I'm going to have to use my kitchen right. screwdriver here. Bingo. Don't worry. We they love your this. mirror. It's fun. I'm really excited about that finish. I might. I would love to do that on like a big piece. I think it would be really cool. I should preface with saying like the things that we don't manufacture are not all made in the US. So it's just the things that JRV specifically manufactures. Yeah. Joni says she has the perfect piece to do this on. Nice. Now I gotta be careful when heat gunning this because this color underneath has cottage color in it, which has a built-in sealer, and so it will bubble. I actually don't hate. Which color underneath? Uh, what? The DIY? Was the, uh, the paint underneath there? Yeah. Yeah, I used white linen with Queen oh, Bee. Oh, with Queen Bee. Gotcha. Yeah. You can make any color you want. With the cottage color, you just add a little bit of the DIY, and you'll still get a lot of the same properties of the cottage color as long as you don't add too much of the clay based paint uh catherine says the big beautiful cutting board arrived and was gifted to my daughter she loved it charcuterie board she says sweet uh thank you very much it came and i am home from florida and north dakota blah blah it's getting what did i miss is getting a fast blizzard we need no more snow let the spring color she loves the spring color today so i'm glad that that made it and your daughter got it that's super fun up where harrington's working they're getting like 30 inches of snow tonight on the forecast and they already have like 10 feet of snow sitting on the ground not kidding you like the the base at the ski resorts is like 160 something inches so more than 10 feet like 13 it's and a half or 11. that's all right we can did you ask Odelia to take, is Odelia taking you? I think she, okay, go just double check. I think she is. Yeah, I think she's taking you, but go double check, buddy. And also tell her that we need her to stop by the store and get hamburger buns, because you're supposed to bring that to young men's tonight. Yeah, that's awesome, Catherine. I always love it when we can make stuff and then people gift it to other people. So thanks for letting us know it arrived alive. Our shipping gals are amazing. And not everything does arrive, but they do their best to fight against uh, what happens in transit. They got, I, mean, they I got feel like ways. we do pretty good. We usually only have like I would say half a dozen a month. Yeah, out of half a dozen a half a dozen a month, and we've already shipped like 850 orders this month. I think somewhere around there. Yeah. 
So they do really good. There's, I mean, we do have some snafus and we talk about them sometimes on the videos because it breaks our heart. Because, you know, I'm putting my, my blood, sweat, and tears into these projects. <laughs> no, no blood yet. And t or tears, maybe I a little. I did get some sweat. blood into the cheese I grated on Saturday, oh. so Sunday. Oh. Actually, the blood didn't come out till I was like, it didn't get in my cheese. But I have this ouchie. But if you'd have been, back. if you'd have been on a competition show, they'd have made you start over. Yeah. And they'd have got rid. They'd have just tossed your whole dish right in the trash. Oh, I don't know. Do I want to do white over the top, or do I want to do sandy blonde? It's hard to say. Kelly says her daughter is at NAU. Oh. And they're getting seven inches tonight. Well, Flagstaff is like 8,000 feet in elevation. That's a high, high city. <laughs> so what are you, where are you headed with your design here? I am going to go with some gold on the top of this. Just gold and sandy blonde. I yeah. like it. Yeah. I think it'll be bright enough, but it'll richen up the gold instead of the white. Because the white will make it brighter, but the sandy blonde will make it more rich. Cindy says 850 orders. That awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, we you guys are amazing. You guys keep we have um, three full time employees and one part time who will be full time um, once her husband. Ivy done goes with... part time during tax season because her husband's an mm -hmm. accountant. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Mariah works part time because she has another full time job. But it is awesome. We it's part of the reason why we do a lot of videos because we got to keep the hustle alive so that way we have all the hours for the girls. We've shipped over 50,000 orders on. We used to have another website, so probably I'll totally we probably ship like 60,000 orders. It's a lot. A lot of orders. Okay, I don't want to mix. I'm just going to pour the white in here. I don't want to get just cream color in my white. Oh, Cindy said she just ordered some of our new her paint today. What are you going to paint with it, Cindy? Let us know. We love seeing all your projects. Yeah, I think Jamie mentioned the group earlier, but yeah. the Jamie Ray Vintage Group is a place where you guys can share, like when you're using the paint and the stencils and all that fun stuff, you guys can share what you've done on there with us because we like to see what you're doing too. Don't worry. I'm going to bring some of that yellow back. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like, but we're having fun here. Kelly said her daughter's over the snow. She's in Chandler and would trade summer for that flag winter. You know, I feel like my friend lives in Texas, and she said there are so many days away from hurricane season because they are in Texas. You always want what you can't have, right? And I'm like... I Grass think I'll is deal always with, greener. I think I'll deal with snow over a hurricane season. That would give me anxiety. I guess if you get used to it. Well, we were down visiting my parents there. Just they were just a little bit west of Houston, kind of tw over now towards they live in Alabama. over towards Galveston when they lived in Texas, and like I'd never seen anything like it because I I mean we've been to Mississippi and Louisiana, the hurricane lanes. but the hurricane emergency hurricane lanes on the on the freeways. I'm like. It's that like the evacuation and like every every um, freeway sign has the radio station to tune in on where you can get instructions on where to go and where's safe. And I'm just like, so that's that makes it very real when you see that kind of stuff. <laughs> Although we have avalanches, we had a big avalanche up here. You can't go up in the mountains in certain areas. Yes, Bye. Heidi, the JB Ray Vintage Group is separate. So there's JRV subscribers, which is the paid group. So if you join on Facebook and you do the paid group, that's that one. That's where we do the extra lives. But there's also the Jamie Ray Vintage Group that is free. And we've had it for a few years, has about 20,000 members. And you can actually share your projects in there and we'll be able to see them. And it's really fun. It's a fun group. There are some questions that asked you when you go to join. Be sure to answer those. About once a week, we go in and approve um, people to join that group. I try to do it more than that, but every now and then I'll be like, oh, shoot, it's been 10 days since I approved people to let them in the group. We do our best. We used to just leave it wide open, and we were getting all kinds of craziness happen in the group. So we had to, we had to lock it down a little bit. Les is on here. Hello, Les. Was it... 
in the Freeport area? Somebody asked. Did he work for Freeport? Uh, or was Freeport a city? Yeah, Freeport's a city. Uh, Damon, was Texas Damon. was the little town. They don't live there anymore. But... Yeah, they're not there anymore. They're in Alabama now. They're outside of what's the big city? Birmingham. They're about 45 minutes south of Birmingham. Thank you. Amanda says she's obsessed with the dresser we did yesterday. It is great. And it's like the camera never shows off like how awesome it is, right? Like we do our best to get really good shots and good lighting, but in person is amazing. All right. It's fun. What? I, think I don't know. He's Should around somewhere. Ready? He was supposed to find you. Okay, we'll go look outside. Oh, go he's in grandma's, grandma's room. room. He's watching TV he's with watching TV. He's probably watching TV in grandma's room, although nobody should be on while we're live. Can you fix the camera, Zeb? It got skinny. Oh, yes. Where's that other heat gun we brought home? Zeb is painting with Sandy Blonde. Oh, I think that's in the garage. I'll be right back. The other heat gun's in the garage. And Teresa loves my hair, my messy bun. I didn't shower. And we went to the gym this morning, and this is what we got. This is our third live video because we had the channel member live this morning. We did business coaching, and now we're doing the paint palooza So we've been live a lot. It's fun. We're getting lots of projects done. Did she find him? Oh, yeah. He was, he was in grandma's he was in room. room. Yeah. All right, I'm just making sure this is all the way dry, and then I will wet distress it, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see what it looks like once it's wet distressed. I can't. We got about decisions. ten minutes here, and then I got to go. Uh, maybe twenty. I'm gonna have to go milk Buttercup. We don't want her to go too long. No. She's pregnant too, so we gotta. She's only actually got a few more months. I'm probably gonna wean her down and, and dry her out in January. In January, you mean? Or January? no, June? July. July, because she's due end of September. You wanna, you wanna dry them out about two months before they give birth. So that how they do you can dry refresh. them out? Just stop milking them, or yeah, I gotta Google the best way to do that. I've actually never done that process because <laughs> you could just keep milking them indefinitely. Or you could just start like stop before she's all the way and like. Well, she's already long. down to one a day milking. Just spread it out like six. Like instead of every 24 hours, do it 26 hours. No, I think hours. I think you gotta just I don't know how do you how do you wean the kids? Like you just stop. I right? just hold turkey. <laughs> but but the thing is, by the time I don't need this, I thought I was gonna use that to distress. By the time I'm done, like, and I decide to wean my kids, they're not nursing that often, so it's not a big deal because they're eating whole food. So I would say just spread it out. So if she if she gets milked every 24 hours, then switch it to 26, 28. 30 and slowly taper her down that'll keep her from getting mastitis yeah we don't want that i mean i'm no i was just going to watch a video on youtube i'm sure there's hundreds of them if she's like a, a human that would be how i would do it or just call my dad he knows the google the google of dad jo joni says the white looks good on that thank you and right now i'm just bringing back some of those colors underneath with a lint-free, damp red. It's yellow, but it's going to end up looking like everything we paint because we, we whitewash and white wax and no, it, it makes it really not. uniform. It does not look like everything else. It's got, it's got soul. It's got a bunch of different colors and the yellow is peeking through. My piece is drying out over there, my mirror. It's actually really looking authentically chippy and good. She will get fresh milk when the baby comes. So you yeah. dry them out so they can get what they, it's called freshening. And it, it's better milk because they're preparing for a baby, but you can't keep milking them until they have the baby because they got to get ready. And having the baby takes a lot out of them. Those last couple months are lots of, that calf grows a ton. That's why you do it a few months before the baby comes because her milk will come in again, but it, then it's going to come in for the baby. Yep. I say that like I'm a real cowgirl. 
I mean, we, I do Jamie own a is cow. So, Jamie has been watching all these reels of like little baby mini cows and we bred her with a mini. So Jamie is super excited. She's like, we should have bred her with a Highland. I'm like, I don't want to. So, so Buttercup has the A2A2 protein and the bull that we bred her with also produces heifers that have, or cows that have the A2A2 protein in the milk, which is, so far it's been true for us. If you're lactose intolerant, you can usually tolerate that milk. It's very gentle compared to uh, regular like commercial dairies. And the Jersey cows have that A2A2 protein in their milk. Um, so I wanted to keep it like that. If we have a little heifer, you know, we'll sell her off or I might keep her and we'll see. It's the farm life. You can't keep all your animals all the time. That is true. All right. I think this is mostly dry. What happened to my gold wax I had out here? Yeah. In New Zealand, they start at three to four months down to once a day and then just stop. So she's already weaned down to she's once on, a day. She's on so one a day right far. now. Well, I, I actually got her like that, but. All right. Here is this crackly old finish. I'm about to get out the clear wax, and then I think I'm going to dark wax it. We need more light. In here. Oh, we don't even have all of our lights on. No, like half our lights are off, and it got. Where is the wax, gold wax brush, though? I'm going crazy over here. Let's get some stage lighting on here. <laughs> All right, there you go. Here, uh, these ones aren't on either. We went live without any lights on. I don't even know who I am right now. Oh, I don't even know. Is Abby usually on top of it? I'm never on top of it, but usually you are. All right, so this is just sandy blonde dry. It's a great neutral base color. It can even be not a base. You can just use it like that. It looks good. Um, and then I'm just going to go over the gold pretty heavy. Oh yeah. Cause this has so much detail. This is great guys. You, you can't wait to show you the close up. It's not often I'm that excited about gold. Yeah. We're not going to keep if, did you already tell them if the cow's a the cow's a boy, we'll pasture it somewhere else until it's time to move it along. And if it's a girl, then we'll sell it because we don't have enough room to keep two cows. Yep. I definitely think I'm gonna dark wax this. So before you dark wax, you always want a clear wax unless you have a built-in top coat, which kind of I do because I used white linen, but I use so many other different paints. I want to make sure that I clear wax it first to give me a barrier between my very thirsty clay-based paint. Um, and that will allow for me to have more maneuvering. All right. So the reason you wax, you base coat this first, I could have just put the wax over the top of what was already here, but it was plastic. Um, like molded plastic. It wouldn't have stuck very well, but the paint sticks really well to the plastic, this DIY paint does. And now that gives the wax something to absorb down into, whereas before it would have just wiped off mostly. I mean, some of it might have stuck, but most of it was going to wipe off. If it's blurry, um, double check your... Are we blurry right now? Um, well, so every now and then we do get blurry. Uh, I'm looking at it on my phone. It looks okay. Okay. Let me, I'm going to just do some dark wax. So if you guys want to really follow along, we do have a uh, channel called Jamie and Zeb. It's like a little homestead in the city kind of channel, like a, a little mini homestead um, where we talk a lot about the chickens and we're getting ready to do a big garden probably tomorrow afternoon if we have a half a second we we've been meaning to get our starts going but we got to get them we got to get them going before we uh wait too long otherwise i'm not going to get tomatoes until like september or october and 
I need to plow the garden up and we're going to be doing some big automated sprinkler system, show all of that. That'll be over on the other channel. It's on YouTube, Jamie and Zeb. Because you have to be careful, especially on YouTube, like mixing stuff in that's not typical for your channel because then if people don't watch it that are your normal viewers, YouTube kind of punishes you and then doesn't show any of your stuff. YouTube, if you're listening, I'm on to you. So we started a separate channel, so that way we could just keep this one more DIY thrifting. We don't put a ton of videos up there, but at least a couple, two to three shorts or a full edited video every week. You get to see the kids a lot more over there because they're helping with the chores around doing the farm stuff and things like that. Whether they want to or not. <laughs> hey. I'm just going to add some clear wax to pull back some of the dark wax. Is that too bright gold? Do I need to add some dark wax? What? I think it's good. Oh, it's not focusing. I'm coming. I think once I get the mirror back on here, it's going to look really good. Almost fell over right there. Don't fall. All right, so all that detail is really popping now. And it did tone it back. Like if we'd have done this on a white, it would have been a lot brighter. I feel well, like this is a really good gold. It does look old and crusty. I might wipe some of that back and just see what happens. Not much. What? It's already soaked down into that paint. <laughs> I'm try the damp rag. There we go. Just like too much dark. There we go. That's all you said. Just a, there we go to where there we go. To. There we go. There we go. It's kind of like when I say all right. so. All right. All right. I say that a lot. Okay, that's better. Next next step. So, I don't know the damp rag is the correct application, but I feel like it's good because it was getting too dirty. So there you go. Ta da! It looks like an old crusty piece of salvage. Then you can still see the yellow. What do you think, Zeb? No, I love that. That goes really well with my mirror over there. They're a pair. All right, I'm we'll gonna bring see... it back and show you all the stuff. I'm gonna see if I sec. can heat gun one of these and distress some of that vintage mint back. But I gotta clear my space. I'm actually. I feel like the yellow really gave that. Like it's just a hint of yellow coming through, but it gave it a lot of depth that we normally. Uh, try to just get away with using white to do I yeah, like it's it a, it's a good neutral i like it all right this is almost dry anyways so i'm just getting the areas where it's just a little thicker now do we have 220 sandpaper anywhere there's a used sheet right nope that, here we go this one's had some use but it's ready ready to go and do some work I'll just, I'll just wipe off anywhere where it's too thick. I'm going to distress it anyways. Okay. Hopefully this sound doesn't bug you guys. I'm going to bring back some of that. I'll, just... I'll put the mic over here for a second. I'll try to talk so it covers it up, right? Mm. Is that not working out? I'm just not getting back to the blue. There's a little bit of blue peeking through. Soluble because I mixed in the the white linen. It's all right. Though. Okay. I'm gonna white wax it. You guys can see some of the blues coming through. I should have just not covered it as well. Well, there we go. Now it, I'm just having to get it wet. 
Like really wet? They were passing my mic. Oh, yeah. So the cottage color isn't quite set up yet. So if I get it wet, and I did mix it with some uh, DIY and I work at it, I can wet distress it to bring back some of that fun vintage mint color. So this is gonna be a workout, but I can get it to do what I want. Definitely don't wanna let it sit overnight though. I never see the vintage mint again. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, that's looking much better with the mirror and clean. I gotta move that. I keep that looks good. I like it a lot better than that weird brown color. Yeah, it's like a brownish bronzy gold situation. Lemon cucumber, that's what it looks like. I like it. Very springy, right? What do we need to do to these to finish these up? Clear wax and dark oh, wax? Or white dry brush. So how about you do this? dry brush. You use your muscles. Oh, <laughs> white dry brush. I could white dry brush all day. No problemo. Let me. What, what is the finish on this? You waxing? I want to do a white wax. So I just need you to scrub it really hard to get through that yellow color. Because there's salt wash. There's cottage color in it. It's still so wet it's... on the top. Oh, yay. Jeannie said she received her bronze fishing boy. It made it to the island in perfect condition. Thanks nice. so much. That is awesome. We've actually had that for a while, and I just barely put it out on the floor, so you must have seen it. And luckily, we had the original box. So we had that foam. Just trying to, it's really hard to dry. Oh, do we have a... All right, we don't have a can't dry brush with a wet brush. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but you don't want it to be damp. Is this one? No, I don't want to use that in cottage color. All right, I'm gonna use this. I think it's dry enough that I can dry brush. We're about to find out. I'll show you guys this up close when I'm done. It's just really hard to dry brush backwards. So you want your brush to almost be completely dry to the touch, and then you're just gonna go across all the high spots to add some texture to it. So we've got um, a little black dress, sandy blonde, and then cottage color and white linen. Not so different from what they had before, but brighter, it was a little bit dark and dingy looking, I felt like. You couldn't see the detail as much. And after you dry brush most of the paint off your brush, then you can come back and almost sh like shade, I guess you could say. Shade in the details because most of the paint's gone. So when you have the majority of the paint on your brush, you just want to go over the details. Then when that's gone, then you really can get in there and shade it. I think I got enough of this off. You want more of the mint no, that's coming perfect. through? That is very good. And then maybe maybe hit it with the sandpaper a little bit to bring no, it back to it. Or... I don't want to hit it with the sandpaper. Okay. But you didn't you didn't uh, dry off this top. It's all clumpy now because I touched it. Sorry. It'll be all right. So now this is really, really dry. And I can take it and shade it in. And we're feathering. And we're feathering. We're feathering. There you go. I'm gonna do the same thing to the top and to the bottom because I don't know how people are gonna use this if they'll use it as a shelf or like as a corbel. So I wanna paint all the sides so that they have options. You said white on the wax? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So my brush is mostly dry while I'm doing this. All right. Now it just needs to be clear waxed, but I'll let it dry a little bit. 
Those lamps would be cool in a sunroom. They're actually just giant candles. But they would be good in a sunroom. They would, because they're bright. They is bright. <laughs> Laura said she bought the best bull shipper figurine. It's a gag gift for a friend. I knew when I saw that, I was like, somebody needs to have that. Uh, that's why I like to thrift. Like, I like to buy weird stuff. And having a shop gives me the perfect opportunity to buy all the weird stuff without being a hoarder. So I just pass it along and I just pick the few things that I just can't live without. And I get to enjoy them in the shop. Um, Tam Tam says, I have those wash ofs you're whitewashing. And now you gave me an idea, a great way to repaint them. Yeah, it's really fun. Paint is just a great way. If you're looking around the house and like, this is just kind of drab. I need something new for the spring. Paint is a great way to do that. So if you're just tuning in, we carry these products at jamierayvintage.com. As soon as I'm done dry brushing this, I'll drop a link. You can buy the things that we paint, but you can also just buy the paint and freshen up your own decor. My sister Kate has a uh, sunroom down in Tucson. Is it an actual sunroom with lots of windows or is it just an it's enclosed a, porch? It's probably just an enclosed porch I was like, at one she point, doesn't have a sunroom. But it's a big, it just has big bank of windows along three yeah. sides. A sunroom though, to me, is like windows top and bottom. Oh, you mean? Is that a, four, a three seasons room? To me, that's yeah. a sun porch. You have lots of windows. You wouldn't want to have lots of windows like that in Arizona because you'd fry. But she uses it as a playroom for her kids. So I don't know that she would decorate in there really. She's very neat and tidy, minimalist almost. <laughs> I'm like uh, in between a minimalist and a maximalist. I can never have just like the bare minimum because it's very sterile to me. I like cozy. Wherever that balance is, cozy. I actually, sometimes I worry a little bit because there are people whose moms are way better housekeepers than me. And this gal came to visit one of my kids. I can't remember who it was, one of their friends. And she said, I love your house because it looks lived in. She's like, my mom freaks out every time stuff gets where it's not supposed to be. And we can't even like enjoy our house. Although I do feel like sometimes um, I get mad when they wear their shoes in my house. Where's that little bad. candlestick? I want to show how to break the top off real quick. All right. Ta-da. So now it's finished on all the sides. So if somebody wants to leave it like this, they can, or they can put it up like this. <coughs> I'll clear wax this one. And then this part will be finished. When I clear wax it, that sandy blonde will get a lot darker. All right, Amber Moy, I have no idea if you're watching or if you'll see this far into the video, um, but she asked, how do you break the little pointy tips out for the candles? Because I'm going to make this more into like a tray. Sometimes they screw out and sometimes they do not. And you got to break them. You can grinder them off, but you will also sometimes ruin your finish on stuff too. Let's see if I can, this one is a screw out. very waxy screw out. I think we've got a good amount of stuff done in about an hour and a half. Yeah. So. Oh, not even a screw out, just pressed in. All right, that's, I was just spinning, 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 couldn't get it figured out. So this one was just dropped down in there like a pin. Sometimes they screw. So now this can be like a fun tray. This one might be welded on. Yes. So just take your pliers down at the base and start wiggling it. It'll heat up and break. It'll heat up. Yeah, like the, the wire, the, the molecules in the metal from you moving it will heat up and it'll just snap out. So I got most of it off. Now, this is the part where you might need a grinder or a hammer. Zeb has a grinder. 
I have Missy says, um, I wear my I like my house cozy also, and it really aggravates me when shoes get worn in it. Well, here's the thing. I got dogs to cozy up the house. I can't train them to not have dirt on them, but humans can be better. All right, these are all waxed and check them off my list. Okay, I lost my hammer. I'll be right back. You lost, you're a carpenter without a hammer? No, it's not lost, lost. I just thought I had it out of here. Do you need to wipe back all this white you put on here? Yeah, I'll go ahead. It's pretty slick. It should wipe back pretty easy. So I'm actually using a slightly damp rag. This is taking off a little more white than it ordinarily would, which I like because I don't want it to be overpowered. Yeah, I left it on for a sec because it's slick, so I figured it'd wipe off pretty good. Yeah, I don't want it to be overpowered by the white, so we're taking off a lot of it. All right, so I'm going to do this above. I don't want to put three little indents in my wood island that might be loud. I appreciate you not doing that. So just... That little pin just popped right out of this one. Sometimes they just mush down in. But now we've got no more pins in our candles. Most of them, like 90% of the time, screw out. Um, this one here was welded in because the whole thing is like welded and fused together. So if I move like my face, is it, can you guys see it or is it blurry? Do you want to zoom I'll in? show them close. All right, I think that's good. I think after we show them that, They've seen all the things we've done thus far. We can show them your mirror again. Yeah, I want to bring the mirror back. So that's the queen bee mixed with white linen over the top of vintage mint with a white wax. So I like that. It's like yellow, but not like in your face yellow. I will see what I do with all the rest of the yellow. And then you can show them that candlestick. This one also has that same yellow color, but I did a whitewash and a dark wax. So it's just a different kind of crusty. I could dark the blade, wax this. Though, look at the texture we're getting with that blade. Yeah, no, that was fun. It's less than the, the stippling. You can always be like, oh, they stippled that on with a brush. The blade looks like it's just like plaster that's worn off. No, no, it's good. Going to be using that technique a lot, just so you know. Watch and then out. your mirror. We'll show you the mirror and then we'll, we'll call it good so you can go milk buttercup. And I'll get this all painted up before... I have my fifth annual parent cheer meeting today. Odilia did four years of high school cheer and Eliza is trying out this week. So we have our parent meeting tonight. I'm kind of excited because it's always fun. I love cheer. Right. That's awesome. That's probably my favorite thing that we painted today. Yeah, it turned out great. Um, we could even go back in with some more white and oxidize this um, like, like a light white wax down in here. Look at all this like texture that I got from that blade all through here. It's amazing. I'm gonna be doing that a ton, guys. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. We'll we'll catch you in like six months when I get bored of this finish. I try something else. And I'm dropping a link to the DIY paint here. But anything you want from JamieRayVintage.com, you can click the links, go to the menu and find it. If you like this video, be sure to share it out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning for Waste Not Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. What are you going to do for that? Um, you know what I was thinking? There's those drawers from that dresser, the little drawers. I thought maybe we'd make some little feet for them and make some boxes. Oh, okay. Because I'm trying to clean out the garage. In case okay. you didn't notice. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Right, Love you. you.